Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 4, Episode 4, Thoughts. This episode is called Let Me Stand Next to Your Fire. Another episode I love, like most MCU things, and certainly every single episode of this show so far. Spoilers for everything MCU leading up to and including this episode. No spoilers in this video for anything MCU that came out after this episode first premiered. Let's dive right in. So, yeah. I've, I've said it before. I really love that they... They stop the whole will they won't they thing with Fitzsimmons. They just let them actually get together, and now they're doing like you know drama about yeah you know long term romantic relationships. So you know before we saw them talk about going on vacation together, now they're talking about you know finding a place to live together because there's a lot of great material there too. You know it's not boring. I'm I. I'm so glad we, we get to move past this. Like, there's so many shows where it's just, you know, maybe they'll go, oh, no, never mind, the, the thing went, you know, there's some obstacle, now they can't, you know. Like, there's a lot I love about Alias, but boy, did that, like, bend over backwards to keep people apart. And, yeah, some, some really great lines about that to the... the you know, you have the thing about, like, ah, can you really put a price on a wonderful home? Yes, you can, and we did. And, you know, she's like, oh, but it's so cute and charming. Yeah, cute means, what was it? Cute means cold, cramped, and charming means old, something like that. You know, just, yeah. And the, let's see... Um, yeah, yeah, and yeah, turns out, you know, we the audience, so I appreciate they didn't take forever to get to the payoff, because we the audience immediately, you know, she's, oh, I was contacted by an email, and it almost sounds too good to be true, so, you know, we in the audience are like, oh, boy, this is not going to go well, this is, you know, but thankfully it's just, it's Daisy, not, you know, someone who wants to, to harm Gemma, and let's see... Yeah, the, you know, S.H.I.E.L.D., I thought you guys, you know, had uh, were, were gone. Well, we're making a comeback. I mean, Phil, don't call it a comeback. You've been here for years. And, yeah. You did what? I was killed by Radcliffe. <laughs> she's going to need a support group, although there's probably, she's... she's it's not going to just be for Radcliffe, because there's not that many people, no offense may, who've gotten killed by Radcliffe, but yeah, like, uh, you know, I was killed by someone I loathe and was certain I could best support group, you know, that's, yeah. And, yeah, you know, the, the, um, Simmons says, I knew, you know, it did sound too good to be true, and, yeah, Daisy has done some hacking to help her, you know, no, 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 don't worry, the place is yours, it's now rent-controlled. Oh, boy, we need Daisy Johnsons in real life. And, you know, yeah, you know, I looked at your search history, and, you know, so, you were looking at double vanity mirrors, things must be going well, you know, just, yeah. And... Let's see, yeah, and, and there's the thing, you know, I can't voluntarily help, and what if it was not voluntary, and she points a gun, and someone's like, I missed you too, <laughs> and yeah, in <clears throat> this first encounter, at least, uh, Coulson is not able to get help from, um, what was his name, uh, right, Eli Morrow, love seeing, I'm probably going to butcher this, um, Jose Suniga. Again, you know, the, yeah, that's right, yeah, he was also on True Lies. I've seen him a couple of times recently. You know, I, I really loved him in Con Air back in the day. Right, and, and, um, Dexter, Constantine, Alias, yeah, there's, he's done a lot of really great, yeah, um, the, let's see, yeah, um, very cool car chase, 
you know, and just, yeah, some, some really great deeds, love, you know, um, Robbie just barely misses the, the truck, and then the, the two agents go under it, just, yeah, very, very cool, and, yeah, it, it looks like Robbie, you know, he's thinking, if I make it to under the bridge, I can flame out the car, they're not going to be able to lay a hand on me, but the the jet was was parked there, very clever, and yeah, I I really love that Gemma gets results, but not the way that Daisy had, you know, she yeah Daisy had a plan, Gemma just pops away and, and leaves. I thought I saw Joseph before. That's Kerr Smith, from yeah you know. Stuff like Dawson's Creek, Final Destination. Holy crap. Did not know he was still working, but glad to see it. Not the biggest fan of his charm stint, but anyway. Um, yeah, looking forward to seeing more because we learn at the end of the episode that he's just woken up. So, yeah. And honestly, like perhaps my biggest problem with his charm stint was he's not old enough to be playing a character with this kind of authority. I cannot believe you guys let him go, you know, but, yeah, he's, now he does, so, yeah, uh, looking forward to seeing more of him, anyway, um, but, but, yeah, you know, for a second there, it looks like Gemma is, is, you know, seizing the opportunity to get away from Daisy, you know, but, the, the, yeah, she, yeah, she got results, you know, in a way that didn't go the way the super spy had, had planned, very, that one scene from The Born Identity, the, the Damon, Matt Damon version, and, let's see, yeah, um, Radcliffe isn't exactly wrong about, you know, doing, having, having May do the Turing test with Ada, you know, obviously, Radcliffe and Fitz can't. The the um, they're simply you know they already know that this is an android and yeah you need someone who doesn't already know and let's see and I think the fact because it seems like it's working okay it seems like May is actually buying that this is a person you know, she's, she herself is not the best in, like, social situations, so maybe that's why, because, you know, Simmons, although I guess Simmons isn't the best either, but Simmons is an expert within, you know, she's a scientist, so she clocks it immediately. And, let's see, yeah, and Gemma is going to stick around, some great stuff when Robbie is in the cell. Um, just these these little, you know, you really think the cell can hold me? It's, you know, it, it has held, you know, people more powerful than you. Is that a dare? <laughs> I don't think he's super interested in cooperating right now. And, yeah, so... <laughs> Gemma and Daisy go to see James, and very cool to see him again. And he's working at a fireworks place, but he does explain, you know, this reminds me what I don't want to be. Like, Sean, who smoked for 30 years, leaves a cigarette on the, on the counter. And, yeah, very, very cool when the... Um, oh, hold on, what was, I'm actually, not. Uh, yeah, never mind, uh, the, oh, right, right, yeah, she says, you know, together we can fight back, and, yeah, um, I like, you know, Phil saying, you know, I've opened a door for you, metaphorically and literally, and what if I don't want to help, then we'll open another door, but we won't land first. <laughs> Yeah, and yeah, Ada almost reveals to May that she's an AI, you know, she says, 
most of me is Chinese, which, you know, once fits, you know, yeah, very quick thinking. She's from Canada, you know, sizable, Chinese, which might be true. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, you know, most of me is Chinese. You know, that's the kind of thing an Android might say, but it's also the kind of thing that, you know, it's, I don't know. Some would say it's slightly awkward phrasing, perhaps, but yeah, you know, that's also a thing that could describe your ethnic makeup. And let's see. Yeah, and, and yeah, Robbie is able to get some answers out of Eli, who says that, you know, this, this can make love, I mean, matter out of nothing at all. Nothing at all. And, yeah, you know, he says, this book is evil. So, I'm guessing he's talking about Atlas Shrugged. Oh, uh, no, The Darkhold. That, yeah, that one is, is also evil, I, I guess. And... I'm not calling for, like, banning. I'm just saying, you know, don't... Don't blindly accept what you find in there, that's all. And, yeah, um, Ada does what sometimes is very scary when AI do. She starts asking questions, you know, she is wondering why her creator is, is doing the, the things that he's doing. And pointing out, you know, this goes against my programming, you know, it's just fantastic acting by Mallory Jansen. It really completely sells this. And there was also this little reaction when Fitz lied in front, you know, about her in front of, uh, to, uh, to May. You know, there's this, hmm, that was, you know, it's like, are, are you ashamed of me kind of thing? Just very nicely done. And turns out that James, he, it wasn't bombs he had watchdogs uh, safely stored in, in there and yeah you know expresses some internalized bigotry which again you know there sadly there has been significant transphobia expressed by trans people you know some of them are very yeah really really awful to other members so Again, fits really well with this metaphor of Inhumans being stand-ins for real-life minorities. You know, the same is also true There's of, of others. There's some black people who say really hateful things about other black people. And, yeah, very cool when Quake knocks them down. But, you know, she and, yeah, Simmons points out, if you do that again, you might break every bone in your in your arms. And she's like, I think I might have just done that, you know. So and Yeah, so James does the fire chain thing again. When he did that in a season three episode, in my video on that episode, I described it as Ghost Rider cosplay. And now the actual Ghost Rider does catch it. So, you know, obviously what happened here is that the writer saw my video, thought, oh yeah, we could add Ghost Rider, built a functioning time machine. No, I'm kidding. Uh, yeah, they were probably building towards this. Uh, yeah, I think it was, you know, sometimes the MCU does, like, AV testing, just like, are people interested in this, you know, kind of thing. And then we later get it. So, yeah. And I love the little, you know, Ghost Rider catches it and it's like, that's interesting, you know, and yeah, I love the the line. I was let's see, I was gonna say that. Uh, let's, yeah, the the thing, you know, I was gonna say that just without the accent, and yeah, we get another incredible transformation of of the. Yeah, the face into the skull, and it is, like, someone on YouTube actually compiled a collection of every single transformation. I haven't, you know, watched it. I've just 
notice that it's there because I did. I have searched for a Ghost Rider video or two, and and yeah, someone made the effort to to get all this footage and put it in a compilation, which tells me I am not the only person who really loves like. You could have this in every episode from now on. I will never tire of seeing the, the flesh burn away. And these, like, just, yeah, so, so cool. And, yeah, the shotgun axe makes another successful return. <laughs> and <laughs> I love the, the exchange. The two fire dudes just drop into a warehouse, warehouse full of fireworks. You had to see that coming. And let's see. Yeah, then we get the, you know, you know, you know, Joseph, Joseph Bauer. He just woke up. <laughs> and yeah, then we have the yeah, um, the uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah, the the thing about you know the the yeah, Colson makes some. I forget the exact line. But he says something about, like, hand, her, you know, Ada's hands. And she says, you know, oh, the, oh, that, yeah, that, because, because she helped save May, you know, talented hands or something. And, you know, yeah, she says, oh, you know, I've had these hands since he gave them to me. And, yeah, you know, Colson makes a very logical, you know, yeah, he says, oh, um, and you know you you had yeah you haven't had you you yeah you didn't have hands you know he doesn't realize that it's a an android you didn't have hands and you know Radcliffe made them for you which yeah you know that is a thing he does that is one of the major things he does is is make these prosthetics and then there's the you know, there's the line, yeah, yeah, and he says, how, for how long, or something like that, and she says, I was actually born this way, you know, so she has internalized, she is okay with lying, that's not necessarily the best sign, if your AI starts lying, that could be, you know, that can lead to things, and, you know, it might, Maybe he'll start lying to you, you know, because he does specifically say, you know, not all lies are bad. So, yeah, you know, this is an instance of her lying in a way that he wants her to. And, yeah, Gemma immediately clocks Ada. And, you know, there's a line about, you know, oh, her, her, was it her dynamic responses are slow or something like that, which I'm guessing is an AI term. I'm not sure I've heard that said about human beings, but yeah. And let's see. Yeah, and and you know, there's the thing, you know, this is a lie you're gonna have to tell. Actually, there's a few. So some MDB trivia for this episode. Uncle Eli is shown reading The Positronic Man by Isaac Asimov, Robert Silverberg. It is about a robot with a positronic brain that is ultimately declared an official human being. This may be a reference to Ada, who is passed off as fully human in front of Agent May. Very nice. Always love a good Asimov reference. And, yeah, they, they reference the, the Turing test. Uh, let's see. Yeah, named after Alan Turing, the W the, the World War II era British crypto analyst, crypt crypto analyst, who created the machine that cracked Germany's message encryption, led directly to the end of the war. And fitting for the the whole, you know, that they're also doing in human storylines after the war, after he saved all these lives, he was put in prison for being gay. So, yeah, just completely absurd. You know, if, if you actually think that you're one of the good ones, just keep in mind, he saved countless lives. He, you know, he, he shortened the war. He, yeah, he helped end the war. And they still put him in prison for, you know, sex. That's, that's you know, and not, not like rape, but just his, his sexual preference. The title of this episode is a lyric from the song Fire by the Jimi Hendrix Experience. 
and let's see. Ah, JT James, aka Hellfire, the explosive and human, drops references to the first person shooter Overwatch with his lines, most notably fellow Australian explosives obsessed Jamison Fox, aka Junkrat. The lines include Stop me if you've heard this one before. This bomb's for you. It's a perfect night for some mayhem. And well, that's a nice how do you do. Some of Gemma Simmons' lines also reference the same, same game's British character, Tracer. Very cool. Never played Overwatch, but I hear good things. And, yeah, that is, that is very cool. I, I quite appreciate, uh, yeah. The poster was drawn by comic book artist Francesco Francavilla. This is the first episode to feature a Ghost Rider wielding his iconic flaming chain. And let's see. I think that is right. Yeah, um, a couple of lines that I wanted to. Yeah, <clears throat> Phil Coulson. After the drag race is over, I get to keep his car now, right? Isn't that how this works? I don't know if that's directly referencing Fast and the Furious or if that's just I I've just I've seen a few reviews. I haven't actually watched that movie, the the first one. I haven't watched any Fast and the Furious movie. I'm not sure I ever will. I keep going back and forth on it, honestly. But I've seen video reviews where that's mentioned that apparently they're driving the, yeah, the race is about who gets to keep the the car. I don't know if that's just a, a typical drag race thing or if that's specifically from that movie. <laughs> Can we appreciate his car later? <laughs> and let's see. I would like to thank you again, Agent May, for all your help. Yeah, we know the tests were obnoxious enough to make you want to hit someone. Just glad that person wasn't me. And the let's see. Yeah. It's good to see you back in fighting form. Dying takes a lot over to you. I've heard. We should start a club, get some t-shirts made up. And... Yeah, the... the I... I so yeah, when May speaks Mandarin, she's obviously thinking that she'll be able to... You know, she won't... No one in the room will know what she said. So it's, it is very funny when Ada, you know, translates... Agent May says you can shove all your tests up your ass.